Hello, what is up? So a while ago I did a video about this pedal suggesting that it could be the most important Fushante pedal. And the idea behind that statement is that you set your amps up really clean and then you get your basic level of crunch from this level control knob. And I guess most of you watching are already familiar with this idea. But then recently I got an interesting question on that video which was could you use the microamp instead to get that basic level crunch. And you know this is also a pedal that John used but that was on top of the crunch that you got from this one in order to get more crunch for riffs like can't stop them think like that. And you know I thought this was a really interesting question and I don't really think that words do justice to answer such a question. I think the best way is simply to do an A-B recording and then compare them uh, right directly after each other. And that is what I did. So what you will hear now first is uh, just the amps without any pedals except for this one and that was in order to be able to split the signal so we can use both amps at the same time. And obviously the tone will be quite clear at this point. And then I will have this pedal in the chain to see what kind of crunch we get. And then we will replace that pedal with this pedal to see how it compare and also this one will be used again to get a stereo rig. And first I will do this test on the neck pickup and then the bridge pickup. So here we go. Before I comment on what we just heard there, I will do this next test where I did the same thing, you know, first this pedal, then these two pedals, but put in a basic Fushante board with fuzz, distortion, wah wah pedal and uh, delay pedal. And you know, my playing is really sloppy because my main focus was just to throw in as many different pedal combinations as I could to see how they interact with these two. And one final thing I want to add is that I didn't pay attention to the settings on the pedal so the settings on the DS2 is kind of strange <laughs> but uh, you know I'd usually have higher tone but uh, anyway they are the same for both pedals so yeah let's play this now and then we'll evaluate. <laughs>
All right, so my thoughts on this are that I think that the chorus ensemble had a little bit more of a pleasant game structure compared to this one. But at the same time, I'm actually really surprised how well this pedal, the mic ramp, actually <laughs> held up in all of these situations. But I also want to add that there isn't really a great price difference between this pedal and the version of this pedal which only has the level control. And because of that I can't really see a reason for buying this one in order to use it in this way for that basic level crunch. However, it is a really good pedal to get that additional level of crunch. And I also want to add that I think that this comparison shows that there are different ways to get good crunch from pedals. For example, the Dave Simpson get great success with the jackhammer and golden plexi and things like that. So yeah, there are definitely many different options to explore for your specific setup. And now I'm really curious what your opinion is on this topic. Which one did you think worked the best? Or maybe you didn't even hear a difference. So comment that below and also leave a like for the algorithm and I'll see you in the next video.